Dixon, welcome to your fifth grade science class for unit five. This is day seven, January 14th, 2021. This week, we've learned about fossil fuels. We will be reviewing the formation of fossil fuels today. Our learning target for today is 5.7a. I can explore the processes that led to the formation of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, what are they? Coal, oil, and natural gas are fossil fuels. They are important energy resources. Like rocks, fossil fuels form over long periods of time. The coal, oil, and natural gas we use today formed millions of years ago from fossil remains of organisms. This is why they're called fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources either cannot be replaced at all or cannot be replaced as fast as people use them. Let's talk about coal and how it's formed. So coal forms from plants. Under certain conditions, layers of dead plants build up and form a material called peat. As time passes, the peat gets buried under layers of rock. The extreme pressure and high temperature slowly changes the peat into soft coal and then into hard coal. Today, coal fuels many electronic power plants. Burning coals turns water into steam and steam causes generators to spin and make electricity. Oil and gas, how they're formed. Oil and natural gas form basically the same way that coal forms, except that oil and natural gas form from the remains of tiny sea organisms and not dead plants. The remains are buried under layers of sediment. The heat and high pressure help turn the organic matter into oil. If the temperature is high enough, natural gas is formed. Oil may be found beneath land or beneath the ocean floor. Drills make deep holes in Earth's surface to reach the oil. Let's talk about Texas oil. Here's a quick fact. Spanish explorers in what is now known today as Texas noticed oil seeping from the ground in the 1500s. However, the quest for Texas oil did not begin until after the Civil War. Spurred by the demand for kerosene and other products made from oil, Texans drilled for the precious resource. The first Texas oil boom was launched when oil was discovered at Spindletop, south of Beaumont in 1901. This find marked the beginning of the modern oil industry here in Texas. So what can you conclude about the land here in Texas millions of years ago? I'll give you a moment to think about that. Okay, time's up. If you said that most likely Texas was covered by sea, then you're absolutely correct. Remember that Texas oil is created from the remains of tiny sea organisms and not dead plants. Let's continue. All right, quick review. What is the difference between the formation of coal, oil, and gas? Oil and natural gas are formed from the remains of tiny sea organisms. And coal is formed from dead plants. Okay, great. You found some differences. Can you tell me a similarity between coal, oil, and natural gas? Okay, if you said that they're all non-renewable resources because they cannot be replaced at all or cannot be replaced as fast as people can use them, then you're absolutely correct. They both are formed by heat and high pressure that help turn them into organic material. 